Hi students! Welcome again to another video lesson. So today, we're going to discuss Venn diagram and its application. So let's recall first operations on set. First, we have the union. Set consisting of combined elements of the given set. So, pag sinabi natin combine, pagsasamahin natin yung elements ng given sets. Next, intersection, set consisting of the elements of the given set. So, kukunin natin yung common o yung parehong element ng given sets. Difference. So, the difference of two sets denoted by difference of set A and B is the set of all elements which belong to A but which do not belong to B. And last is the complement. So, the complement of set A denoted by complement of A is the set of all elements in the universal set that are not in A. So, kukunin natin yung elements na universal set na wala kay A. So, let's talk about Venn diagram. So, a Venn diagram, it is a simple an instructive way of illustrating the relationship between set is in the use of so-called Venn diagram or Venn Euler diagram. So, ito daw yung instructive way of illustrating the relationship between sets. Okay? So, Venn diagram were created by John Venn, an English logician and philosopher in 1880. Though they are not called Venn diagram until Lewis called them that in his book published in 1918. So a Venn diagram consists of rectangle with circle inside. So para daw gumawa ng Venn diagram, mag-drawing ka muna ng rectangle and circles inside. So depende do yung circle natin depende do sa given na sets. Okay? So, the rectangle represents the universal set and the circle inside represents the different subset in the universal set. So, the letter name of the set is written beside it. So, yung pangalan ng set nakasulat do sa tabi ng circle. So, let's have an example of Venn diagram at representation ng mga relationship using the Venn diagram. So, the following are example of Venn diagram and the relation they represent. So, una, ayan, disjoint set. So, mapapansin nyo, nag-drawing tayo ng rectangular shape. And then, sinulat natin yung capital letter U. So, U means universal set dito sa upper left side ng rectangle. And then, two sets we have. So, disjoint set, so hindi magkadikit yung ating circle. So, joint set, yan, magkadikit yung dalawang circle nating set A and set B. So, ibig sabihin, they have common o meron silang parehong elements. Kaya sila magkadikit. Next, we have the subset. So, B is a proper subset of A. So, ibig sabihin dyan, lahat ng element ni B ay element din ni a. So, kaya nasa loob yung circle na B. Another Venn diagram. So, showing intersection. Ayan, nakashade yung part ng intersection ng circle A and circle B. Next is union. So, alam naman natin, pag sinabing union, pinagsama yung element ng sets. So, pagsasamahin daw yung element ni set A and set B. So, ang nakashade ngayon yung circle A and circle B. Next is difference. So, difference of set A and B. So, lahat ng element ni A na wala kay B. So, ang shade lang natin dito itong part na to. Next. We have the complement of A. So, ibig sabihin, lahat ng elements sa universal set na wala kay set A. So, nakashade ngayon dyan is yung outer part ng circuit. Next is the complement of the union of set A and set B. 
And last, we have the complement of the intersection of A and B. Okay. So, solving problem using Venn diagram. So, saan ba ginagamit si Venn diagram? Of course, sa pag-solve ng word problem. So, ito yung mga keyword natin para sa ating word problem. So, yun yun. Ang keyword is or. Intersection, the keywords are and and all three. Difference, we have but not and only. And for the complement, we have neither nor and but not. Okay? So, let's, okay, let's have an example. So, solving problem using Venn diagram. So, of 150 students in grade 7, 45 choose the online learning modality. 65 choose modular learning modality and 20 choose both online and modular. So, how many students are choose online only, choose modular only, choose online or modular, didn't choose online nor modular? Okay? So, dito ngayon papasok yung paggamit natin ng Venn diagram. So, paano tayo mag-drawing ulit ng Venn diagram? First, mag-drawing muna ng rectangular shape. And don't forget to write the symbol for universal set, yung capital letter U sa may upper left side ng rectangle. Next, so ilang circle ang ido-drawing natin sa loob ng ating Venn diagram. So since dalawa ang given, online at modular, so dalawang circle lang ang ido-drawing. Okay, so magkadikit yung circle kasi daw 20 student ang pumili ng parehong online and modular. Okay. Next, lahat ng event ilalagay natin dito sa ating Venn diagram. So mag-start tayo sa gitna. So 20 choose both online and modular. So lalagay natin yung 20 sa gitna. So tandaan niyo students, Laging, ila, laging natin uunahin yung nasa gitna ng Venn diagram. Okay, next. 65 choose modular learning modality. So, tandaan sa 65 na to, kasama na yung 20. So, we're going to subtract 20 from 65. So, 65 minus 20, kaya magiging 45. And next is 45 choose the online modality. So, remember, si 20 kasama pa rin dito sa 45. So, subtract natin si 20 from 45. So, 45 minus 20, kaya magiging 25. So, check natin. Add natin yung mga number na to na sa loob ng Venn diagram. So, we have 25 plus 20, 45 plus 45, 90. Okay? Eh kaso, sa given natin is 150 students and 90 lang to. So, ibig sabihin, merong 60 students na hindi pumili nung dun sa dalawa. Okay, so, saan natin ilalagay yung 60 na yon? Of course, dun sa labas ng circle, dun sa may rectangle. Okay? So, let's answer the following na. So, how many students are choose online only? So, ito yung online, yung circle na online. So, we have 25 tsaka 20. So, alam natin yung 20 na to, pumili ng online tsaka modular. So, hindi siya kasama. So, the answer only is 25. Next, choose modular only. So, we have 45 students. Next, choose online or modular. So, ang ating keyword is or. So, ibig sabihin, union. Pagsasamahin natin. So, yung pagsasamahin natin yung online at modular. So, 25 plus 20, 45 plus 45. Ang sagot ngayon ay 90 students. Next, didn't choose online nor modular. Sabi, di daw pumili dun sa dalawa. So, ito yung nasa may universal set natin. So, that is 60 students. Another example. Yeah. So, a group of students were given a questionnaire to find out what online games they like. So, it was found out that 
84 Light like Mobile Legends, 80 Light like Call of Duty, 65 Light like PUBG, 58 Light like Mobile Legends and Call of Duty, 47 Light like Mobile Legends and PUBG, 42 Light like Call of Duty and PUBG, and last, 25 Light like the 3 Games. Okay? So again, lahat ng ating given, ilalagay natin sa ating Venn Diagram. So again, mag-drawing ng rectangular shape. Ayan, don't forget yung symbol ng universal set sa may upper left side. Next, so tatlong games siyang sinabi, Mobile Legends, Call of Duty, and PUBG. So ibig sabihin, tatlong circle ang ido-drawing natin na magkakadikit. So ayan. So, we have the Mobile Legend, PUBG, and Call of Duty. Huwag nyo kakalimutan isulat yung pangalan ng mga set sa... Okay, so mag-start tayo sa pinaka-gitna. So, sabi dyan, 25 like the 3 games. So, si 25 lagay natin sa gitna. Okay? Next, 42 like Call of Duty and PUBG. So, ito yung circle, diba? PUBG tsaka Call of Duty. Eh, may 25 na tayo dito. Kaso yung 25 na to, gusto din yung Mobile Legend. And sabi lang, Call of Duty and PUBG. So, ang gagawin natin, ima-minus natin yung 25 kay 42. So, 42 minus 25, kaya magiging 17. Next. So, 47 like Mobile Legends and PUBG. Tandaan natin sa 47 kasama na yung 25 kaya ima-minus natin ulit. So, 47 minus 25 so that is 22. Next, 58 like Mobile Legends and Call of Duty. So, 58 minus 25 again that is 33. Okay, next. So, 65 like PUBG. So, sa 65 na to kasama na yung 22, 25 and 17. So, ima-minus natin yan. So, 65 minus 22 minus 25 minus 17. Ang sagot ngayon is 1. Okay, next. 80 like Call of Duty. Again, kasama na, yung 8, kasama na sa 80 yung 33, 25, and 70. So, minus lang natin yan. 80 minus 33 minus 25 minus 17. So, the answer is 5. And next is 84 like Mobile Legends. So, minus natin ulit. So, 84 minus 22 minus 25 minus 33. So, the answer is 4. Yan. So, since nagawa na natin yung Venn diagram, let's answer the following. So, how many like Mobile Legends only? Mobile Legends only. So, that is 4 students. So, how many like Call of Duty only? So, that is 5 students. How many like PUBG only? So, meron lang tayong 1 student. Next, how many like Mobile Legends and Call of Duty but not PUBG? Yan. Gusto daw yung Mobile Legend and Call of Duty but not PUBG. So, ito, yung 33 and 25. So, mapapansin nyo, si 25, gusto din yung PUBG. So, we're going to get 33 students only. Okay? Next, how many like Mobile Legends and PUBG but not Call of Duty? Ayan. So, we have 22 students. Next, how many like Call of Duty and PUBG but not Mobile Legends? So, we have 17 students. So, how many students are there in all? All. Ilan daw ang students lahat dyan? So, add lang natin. 4 plus 33 plus 25 plus 22 plus 1 plus 17 plus 5. The answer is 107 students. Ayan. Okay. So, I hope may natutunan kayo sa ating video lesson. So, see you again sa next video lesson natin. Bye!